Hi guys, welcome to the channel Info Hub with Sontasha. My name is Bitu Medo Dubi Sontasha. Welcome everybody to my channel. <laughs> welcome guys. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, welcome and thank you for the sub. So today I'll be discussing or sharing with you all ways that I apply for teaching jobs. All right. So the different platforms that I use, different strategies that I use to try and get a teaching job in South Africa. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So the first thing that I did was to register with the Gauteng Department of Education. So they have a database that you can register on if you are an unemployed teacher. So you, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. So you basically upload your personal details, you upload all your qualifications, you specify your teaching subjects, and then you upload your SAIS uh, certificate. And then I believe when there is an uh, a vacancy or an open at a certain school they go through the, the the thing i think i'm not sure how they do it but yeah they go they go through it and then if you are the right candidate they give you a ring and then you go to the school and then i think interview and then you get the job all right so personally i haven't at all like at all <laughs> i haven't at all i haven't received any call uh, from the department of education all right but i know i have seen on facebook people saying that they've gotten our uh, jobs uh through registering with the Houteng department of education database all right and i think there is one for is it the free state and from pumalang i think i registered with all of them like i've been just registering I just register guys i'm like i'm here i'm a teacher i just register <laughs> so you can also do that so i'll leave the link in the description uh, box down below and then the second way of uh getting a job is to they call it a hand delivery or doing a door-to-door -door. so when you are doing door-to-door -door, you are basically uh going to schools that are nearby that are far and then you submit your cvs there so there are schools that will uh, take your cv and then there are schools that will advise you to just uh, register on the um, database thing or you can go to the different districts all right so you can go to different schools you submit your cv obviously when you submit your cv you will have all your documents all your qualifications in there and then you pray guys obviously that when there is an open Opening, they will give you a ring and then you come for an interview and so on and of course there are people who have gotten jobs through that method all right right guys the third way to apply for a job or the third way that i use all right and that i'm currently using to apply for different uh vacancies is different pages on facebook i mainly use the sa unemployed teachers uh, page something like that i'll just leave the link in the description box down below all right so that is a page on facebook basically you will have different people they post at different vacancies and then you get some that would our offer to uh, submit for you some say it's a scam some say it's not a scam i do not know but basically that is where you will also see different uh, schools that i have uh, openings so some schools they will specify whether you can apply through that uh, via email or you would uh, need to hand deliver your cv so sometimes it can be like mm, like you based in how then and then you see a post today the maybe the third of january and then it's closing on the fourth of january and then it's a hand delivery and you have to make your way to limbopo you know it's like oh sometimes it's a bit tricky but it is a very very helpful um page that you can follow and then yeah pray you get your post and then you apply all right and the fourth way <laughs> that I use, guys, to uh, search for different vacancies is through the website Edustis. Uh, All right, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. You will also get the different vacancies and so on. And then there are various groups. Like, I joined about three groups on WhatsApp for educators, for online educators. <sighs> 
yeah i also use <laughs> those platforms and then of course i have your linkedin profile i have your pnet profile and then i use also those uh, platforms to search for different jobs all right and last but not least guys is dropping off your cv and your documents to different districts all right so this is the same as doing your door to door at different schools okay so the other districts they will just take your uh, documents and then others will just tell you that you need to just register on the database and then you should be fine so sometimes i feel like just take the cv you know and so on just take it you know just take it you know it's encouraging in a way when they take your cv but then when you get there and then you told wuti register on the database and you're like i've been registered for like three months six months and still nothing you know so yeah so those are the ways that are currently used to search for different teaching jobs uh, whether online or at different schools all right so if you have different ways that you use as well please comment down below and let's help each other back those teaching jobs and be like qualified working teachers you know doing what we love <laughs> all right if you have any questions any comments please feel free to comment down below or catch you on my email or on instagram at do me underscore joy stay safe be happy stay blessed please do not forget to comment like and do subscribe bye